Italian chef, Nuki Ho! the show, Dookie. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And today we are making new versions of comfort foods, and we hear you're kicking up one of my childhood favorites and an also a giant game day favorite, Sloppy Joe's. How are you going to do this? Yeah, Sloppy Joe's, like, to me, when I think football, when I think, like, big game, it's very, very American, and Sloppy Joe's is very, very American, but we want to kind of introduce a Korean kick to it, and it's a very simple recipe. Um, we're just gonna start with ground beef, uh, garlic. It's like mix everything in a bowl. What are you making again? Tell, tell her. Korean, Korean sloppy joe. Ooh, Korean sloppy joe. Is that okay? Is it good enough thing? Mm -hmm. Ground beef, uh, some minced garlic, maybe not uh, all of it. Yeah. Is that lean ground beef? That uh, looks um, super lean, doesn't it? Too lean? Mm, too no, I'm cool with 85, 15, or 20. <laughs> some ginger, some black pepper. That's good. Um, this is a little bit of sugar just to help out with the browning. Ooh, um, smart. Sesame oil to give it that nutty. This and soy sauce for the flavor. And kind of what makes it, I would say, very, very Korean mm. is the fermented chili paste, the gochujang. So the we, what? The gochujang. I just love the way you say it because I've been saying it wrong so long. I said no, gochujang. That's what I said. I said gochujang. Gochujang. <laughs> The gochujang, so, exactly. Wait, what's yeah. the correct pronunciation when we say it one more time? Gochujang? Gochujang. I don't, I don't gochujang. think I'm saying it wrong now. It's like, it's like, when you keep saying a word like uh, over yeah, and over, right. gochujang. So oh, this yeah. is kind of like that kick that we want to kind of introduce uh, to this sloppy joe dish, which I grew up eating into at, at like school cafeterias. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Yeah. This, hopefully, this already is better raw, I think, than the stuff we had <laughs> in school cafeterias. Do you guys know that we're hanging out with one of People Magazine's sexiest oh, Lord. Yep. chefs How alive? Guys doing wow. Wow. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Mama, can you pass me the plastic wrap? Change the subject. This is, yeah, okay. yeah, I think he just goes right <laughs> over it. Um, this is all set. We just wanted to let it marinate, probably like two hours. Overnight is great, um, the day before. But two hours is more than enough. We're just gonna pee wrap it. Should I, should I do something with this lettuce right here? Yes, if you can. So we wanna, we wanna serve some kind of accoutrement, some side uh, okay. with it, with the sandwich. The banchan. The, ba the banchan. Yeah, so I say that right? Some, yes, that, okay. that was perfect. That was banchan perfect. is the stuff, the accoutrement that go exactly. with it, all right? So that, um, we're gonna shave some kind of lettuce, iceberg okay. lettuce. And then we're gonna pop this in the fridge. I made some before. Dookie, are you a football fan? I am, I am. I um, actually, when I first came to America, I grew up in Texas and Alabama, and then oh. Texas oh, and Alabama. Oh, what an introduction. Very what an awesome football introduction. country. Okay. So yeah, it was uh, early on I was introduced to football and kind of, well, more the eating culture of football. And just you never game. played? Yeah. No, no. You I was, you're kind of built for dude, dude, don't slight I was yourself. A, I was a high school it's bowler. Chef and you're, you're pretty built. It's, <laughs> it's hard being guys like us, you know what I mean? <laughs> you understand. Thank you yeah. understand. Chefs here too. You That's guys true, were baby. on last Where are you at, Katie? Where are you at? Where? All right. Huh? That's not funny. I'm sensitive. <laughs> So this is really, really simple. Uh, we're just gonna get a hot pan going with some caramelized onions. So we're gonna saute this marinated beef. We're just gonna kind of let that go for about six to eight minutes, and that should be nice golden brown. It should look like this Ooh. very, very iconic Sloppy Joe look. And I'll start, if you're ready. Oh, Mama. we always ready. Are we ready? It just ready. smells so good. And you got the spoon or something to get that out? Thank you. I, I have a big boy right there. Oh, so yeah. That'll be good. So, I couldn't, like, really smell mm -hmm. the the funk of what the gochujang, you know like, what I mean? That fermented bean paste with the like ginger is. no product or anything like that. Just no. simple beef. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. I think and the coach never places a lot. Too. That's mm -hmm. so interesting because rarely do you see a ground beef mixture that's marinated. Yeah. yeah. Does that like break it down a little more, make it even more tender than it is? I don't know. But it's that's yeah, a there you go. infusion. Yours. And look, we got Thank a little you. Sloppy Joe bar set up here. Perfect <laughs> Some for big buns. game day. On a bun, on a bun. Oh, sorry. What are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> Being a dummy? <laughs> So we're gonna do some toasted bun. We're gonna, we have some cucumber kimchi, like a quick oh. pickle kimchi. So I think I'm gonna start yeah, with I'm gonna the movie. Take it over there. Over yes. here. Oh, look at that. Prettier than Juki. This we're is gonna do so nice for a party. Mm -hmm. like I'm not gonna let this go to waste. I like some what are those pickles, pickles on man. Uh, pickles on, uh, let's do the lettuce first, sorry. Sonny, you get the first bite because you were the sous chef. Yes. Dude, she I can works. smell so much going on in this beef. The onions. 
the gochujang. Mm -hmm. Can we? Where can we? We can buy these pickles store bought, or do you have a recipe? For no, we have a quick uh, kimchi recipe. Oh, so man. it's a quick marinade, and you can do cucumbers. I do pineapple, so it's Ooh. kind of yeah. It's... You got it on foodnetwork.com. Do slash, slash the, the kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta give us a little more. Slash the kitchen. Slash the kitchen. Oh, look me up, yeah. Here's I'm over here attending. Pass the plates, Jeff. Oh, sorry. Take it. I'll make some. BYO. A little slider. BYO. Oh, we got oh, sliders, sliders, too. I'll make some for y'all. It's okay. There you go, Dookie. Oh, the mini one. The mini mm. ones. Mm. There we go. Oh. How is it? Oh, Dookie, It's okay. Man. It should be like, I, I feel like it should be like, they enjoy it, but they don't exactly know what's what's in there, and they're yeah. like, "Oh, what's that kick?" And it's like, but that's don't tell the thing them. about gochujang, right? First of all, gochujang, right? Nailed it. Look for it in that yeah. sauce aisle, right around where the sriracha is, in that little tiny container. You'll easily find it. It's in a lot of grocers now. It's spicy, but it's not going to blow your lid back. And it truly brings such a depth of flavor. I think it works so perfectly with beef like on bibimbap, which is a really mm. popular Korean dish. So delicious in here, but let me tell you what really does this. And I don't usually like pickles on a burger or a sloppy joe. Mm -hmm. These pickles coming in here with that tanginess, the crunch from the lettuce. You you did do a new twist on a sloppy <laughs> joe today, Ricky. This is so 